Hi and welcome to part 2 of my Palisades and Diamond Select Muppet comparison reviews. Moving on from Kermit and Fozzie, let's take a look at Gonzo and Scooter. Starting off with Gonzo, I only have the Black Tux version of the Palisades figure, but the main focus here will be the heads anyway. At a first general glance, you can see how Palisades is killing it in the paint department. Everything is much cleaner, and the sculpted texture really makes everything pop. I do think the DST figure has a better expression though, he's not as wide-eyed as the Palisades figure and fits a lot better for neutral posing. For articulation, the Palisades figure has a neck swivel, ball hinged shoulders, a bicep cut, single jointed elbows, and some really tight wrist rotations. Further down he's got a waist swivel I forgot to show, T-jointed hips with uneven range, and single jointed knees. DST is bringing their A-game with their articulation here though, and Gonzo has a ball-jointed neck with up and down movement so insignificant that I didn't realise he had it when I was filming this. Ball-jointed shoulders, rotating single-jointed elbows, and swivel hands. Down, he's got a waist swivel, ball and socket hips, single-jointed and rotating knees, and hinged feet with rocker ankles. Next up is Scooter, and this is a figure where Palisades really dropped the ball. The head sculpt is pretty bad, and the jacket being completely open isn't the look I think he ever had. I know Palisades made a second go at the head, which was a lot more accurate, but he was wearing a hat, so it doesn't really count. DSD Scooter has a much more accurate head sculpt than a closed jacket. His glasses are a loose piece though, which isn't doing him any favours at all. They don't sit well, and I ended up just gluing them on. Palisade Scooter moves at the same points as their Gonzo figure, so that's a swivel neck, ball hinged shoulders, single jointed elbows, wrist swivels, waist swivel, absolutely useless T jointed hips that barely moves forward. and single jointed knees. No feet this time either, but they'd be pointless with legs this bad anyway. DST Scooter has a swivel and hinged neck that allows for more up and down movement than Gonzo. Ball jointed shoulders, single jointed rotating elbows, and the sassiest hands I've ever seen. Continuing, he's got a ball jointed waist hidden by his flexible rubber jacket. DC Universe Classic style hips, single jointed knees, and the usual amazing ankle rockers and feet inches. Closing thoughts, the Palisades line was an incredible line filled with amazing sculpts and background characters, but as action figures they were really not all that great. Diamond Select feels a bit cheaper, but the sculpts are solid and while the paint isn't what it could be, I feel that the scale and articulation makes up for it. Personally, I'm all aboard the Diamond Train myself, so bring on the rest of the gang. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed!